your weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel, two-time recipient of the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters Award for Best Weathercast. Welcome back. Well, rain, rain, it won't go away. And as you see here on our exclusive live Viper radar that we're currently dealing with some showers and some storms out there. That heavy band that moved through early afternoon now sliding a little bit further south, south of I-10 and pushing closer towards the New Orleans area. You can see those heavy showers and easily seeing a half an inch to an inch per hour in some of these bands, some areas even more than that. And obviously these areas are under high risk right now for possible flash flooding. Same area yesterday had about five plus inches of rainfall. So you can see the concern out there that yes, this rain is beginning to add up for many locations here in the downtown area. We got this nice little pocket, still some possible showers moving across the Mississippi River, moving back across the downtown area north of LSU, and then obviously a couple light showers sitting right now around the mall area. So the deal is we've got a couple of lingering showers out there. Once we get past this wave, I think we're going to get a nice little break overnight before that next round arrives heading into the morning hours of tomorrow. Now the concern with that is it's going to mess up your morning commute. We're going to start to see those showers arrive heavy at times heading into those early morning hours. And here's the deal. We still sit underneath that flash flood watch at least through Thursday midday. We're talking around noontime. Potentially they could extend it depending on how much rainfall we see tomorrow morning on top of what we've already got. And as you see going into the overnight hours, still a marginal risk. That's a one out of five. The concern is for heavy pockets of rain, maybe some hail out there, just like we saw earlier today as we had massive amounts around Galvez and Prairieville. It really started to add up in some locations. It even looked like a little bit of snow on the ground. But here's the deal. Even moving into your day tomorrow, We've got that marginal risk for severe weather. So here's the deal. Future track and you can see here a little bit of cloud cover. Look for that next batch of showers to arrive around 6 a.m. Embedded in this cluster, some strong pockets. So just be on the lookout for that. It could come down quite hard and with that torrential rain in place, that means visibility is going to quickly drop out there. And then notice what happens. We get a little bit of a break and luckily for us, it shows another little pocket moving in early on Friday, but it does seem like we're going to get into a slightly drier pattern as we move towards Saturday or late Friday going into Saturday with some showers out here, keeping much of the action north of the viewing area so that by the time we get to about late Saturday going into Sunday, we finally begin to dry out. But here's the deal for Thursday. High winds. Yeah, maybe a low threat. Same thing with tornado tornadoes and large hail. The concern once again is going to be the possibility of some flash flooding at times. So if you run into some high water, please do not drive through it. You run into barricades, do not go around them. Just be smart. Satellite radar picture just showing you the big shot and you can see that all those clouds have moved on. Still again watching that tail end. There still is that possibility that we could see some rain tonight. Obviously, we're watching the water levels very closely right now, and here's the deal. We should be fine if we get enough of a lull between each round, and I think that's going to allow the waters to recede just a little bit, but still heavy rain expected into the weekend. Some cooler temperatures, highs in the 60s and 70s, and then finally a drier pattern starts as soon as we head in a Sunday. So as you take a look at the Almanac, we only got up to 66 this afternoon. We started out at 57. That put us well below normal, but here's the deal moving forward. You can see on the extended forecast, we've still got the possibility of rain in the picture at least until Saturday before we get to dry out and get back to some sunshine out there. 71 tomorrow, a stormy start. We've got heavy rain on Friday coming in a couple pockets. Saturday, more storms to start out your day, but then that sunshine moves in by Sunday. Highs sit just around 70 and really next week should be beautiful, giving us some drying time. Temperatures will sit in the 70s with overnight lows in the 50s.